By the end of this lesson, you should be able to Determine the relationship between force, mass and acceleration, that is, F equals MA. Solve problems using F equals MA. Observe the men. Both men exerted the same strength. What can you deduce from this observation? As you can see, both men exerted the same strength, but man B moves faster than man A. Why? Man B pushed a smaller load than man A, so he moves faster. Observe the men pushing the trolleys. What happens this time? We can see that both men are pushing the same mass, but man A puts greater effort, so he moves faster. We can conclude that the greater the effort is used, the faster the man can go. How to find out the relationship between force, mass and acceleration? The apparatus shown will be used to carry out an experiment in determining the relationship between force, mass and acceleration. Motion sensor, computer, trolleys, slotted weights, pulley and glass panel. Click on the respective components to know how it works. Let's determine the relationship between acceleration and mass under constant force. Force applied in all the three cases are the same. Click on the number of trolleys, then click Start to begin the experiment. What is the relationship between acceleration, A, and mass, M, under constant force, F? From the experiment, we can plot the graph of acceleration, A, versus 1 over M. What can we say about the relationship between acceleration and mass from the graph? A is directly proportional to 1 over M. In the experiment to find out the relationship between acceleration and mass under constant force, what is the manipulated variable? 
What is the responding variable? What is the constant variable? What can we conclude from this activity? Let's determine the relationship between force and acceleration for a constant mass. The numbers of slotted weights represent the amount of force exerted on the trolley. A greater force is applied as the number of slotted weights increases. Choose any of the forces, then click on the Start button to begin the simulation. What is the relationship between force, F, and acceleration, A, when mass, M, is constant? From the experiment, we can plot the graph of force versus acceleration using the data from the table. What can we say about the relationship between force and acceleration from the graph? The force is directly proportional to the acceleration. In the experiment to find out the relationship between force and acceleration for a constant mass. What is the manipulated variable? What is the responding variable? What is the constant variable? What can we conclude from this activity? Let's determine the relationship between force, mass, and acceleration. We know that the force is directly proportional to the acceleration, and A is inversely proportional to M. Combining both equations, we get F equals to MA. Let us look at an example. A girl is pushing a trolley with a constant force on a smooth surface. Calculate the acceleration of the trolley. From the previous lesson, we know that force F equals 5 Newton, mass of the trolley and the box M equals 25 kilograms. Using equation F equals to MA, 5 Newton equals to 25 kilograms times A. A equals to 0 0.2 meter per second squared. The direction of acceleration is always in the same direction as the force. Force can cause an object to accelerate, but there are factors that affect the magnitude of acceleration. Click on the force buttons and see what happens. Note that the trolley is pushed on a smooth surface. Calculate the acceleration for each situation.
click on the mass buttons and see what happens. Note that the trolley is pushed on a smooth surface. Calculate the acceleration for each situation.